Hey everybody, this is Will of Carolina Thread Place, and the video yesterday, we did this right here. So, I got to thinking, what else can we do? Well, I have this beautiful, beautiful leather that I can do, and this is actually Italian leather. Um, the piece that I cut this from had a made in Italy, so we can actually make a pretty nice little cutout. So let's actually trim this down because I think I can get two out of this piece. I really do think I can. That fits perfectly and that fits perfectly. So I can get two out of this. So we're going to do one today. So first things first what how do we do that so let's go to demonstration I have it set up already right here as you can see do we need this one yes do we need this one no so we can actually delete this color we can delete this color we can delete this color and we can delete this color so we now have the basic um, design file for this so what's cool about this is we can just sew this out and actually I am for this one um, what I'm doing is all colors are going to be black I want every single one to be black why it's just because it's gonna look so this being black, this with black thread is just going to be amazing. See, it's red. It's a really deep red. I mean, we can do like white and all that stuff, but I think just having this on black is just going to be enough as it is. So, <clears throat> let's so let's save as we are going to do. Hair slide blank. Not lip balm blank. We're going to say applique. So we now have it. So now that we have that situated. We need to get our USB drive. And since I don't need the embroidery camera right now, we're going to put our USB in. Going to go boom, 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 boom. Almost went there. Embroidery designs in the hoop hair slide blank and we actually saved it out in the wrong format technically we didn't I don't I just don't like using PESs I prefer DSTs that's just me so we're gonna go to transfer make sure it's transferred it is now we're going to Eject it. Remove it. Plug our embroidery camera back up. Alrighty. So now what we need to do is go ahead and get our stabilizer added to it. So we have our stabilizer. Put 
our black in here. And go ahead and run the first stitch. What we should have done inside of, um, what we should have done is inside of Sew Up Pro, taking this one, control copy, control V. Copy, paste, and move this up. So that we added the extra to it, but you know, it's all good. So this time around, we have, we know where to put it. <clears throat> Make sure we have a decent So we're good with the back or front. Now I'm gonna do the back. I'm just rolling this up because I will not be needing it for the rest of today. And I have no idea where I put the... Oh, well. So, what I did is, you see the front, see the back, and now let's go to the embroidery cam camera. So, we're going to remove that part. decided to break on me the thread yep it did so as you can see I pulled a decent amount out because I just want to make sure that it does not mess up a little bit later on but we shall see should not could not won't not <laughs> so we're gonna start back at the beginning on this one we're gonna start slow again wasn't paying attention so there's a little bit of a pucker in here I'm 
a little bit of a pucker. But that's what makes this unique to the person who gets it, who buys it. So. I am using the Microtech needle on this, which is for leather. And doing applique like this for these, it's a little bit faster. It's only 2100 stitches for the whole sew out, so this is going to be a quick sew out. But the good thing about this is you can put initials in here. You can get, <clears throat> you can actually use, you know, cork as well. Because I'm actually going to have a lot of these. And I'm going to be using this cork here. <clears throat> All the different ports. And what's cool about it is, you can sell this with a pair of earrings as a set. You can get hair slot and earrings. And, and, you know, people love to match. which is a great idea. And once this is done, we're over halfway done with this project. And it's not even a few minutes already. So we're done with that. Now we're going to do the punch holes. And again, you can change these out. And it, the thread popped yet again. Not sure what's going on here, but you know, this is leather. Yeah, it popped big time. This Microtech may not like this thread because normally I don't use this, but I'm trying to get rid of it and it's 100% polyester, it's not rayon. <clears throat> but I am trying to get rid of this black. It was a bad purchase. So we're going to go back to the beginning of this one. <clears throat> we're going to start slow. It's flagging. And now we're going to do the final sew out, which is around the bend all over again.
There you have it. <clears throat> so, I'm going to go ahead and cut this out real quick so I can show you all this. I actually cut it out on camera yesterday with you guys. This time around, I have my smaller scissors. Where are my hole punchers? <clears throat> Of course, now I can't punch a hole in it. Because this is leather, so it is definitely harder to punch leather out than marine vinyl. Let's see if I get it started. Nope. So I used this right here to cut the hole and it does a decent job, doesn't do a great job. Let's see if I can clean it up with the hole punch. There we go. <clears throat> Love the smell of leather. So there is the applique hair slide. Again, the pole goes through here and here. 
and then there you go. So, <clears throat> after doing this one right here, I was like, why don't I do a video on how to do applique? So, now you can do two different ones. And the design is still not available yet. Um, it is available on the on her Facebook page. I did put that in the... Actually, it was showing while this was sewing out. And the entire time this was sewing out, it was showing on there as well. So... Definitely check her stuff out. It's amazing work. And if you learned anything or liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not done so yet, and if you have not subscribed yet, sorry. <laughs> if you have not subscribed yet, please um, subscribe by hitting the button below. And also hit that little bell notification to let you know when I post a video or go live. If you have any questions, comments, and concerns, definitely put them in the script in the um, comments below. And we only have a few more days, and the month of May is done, and my 31 days of videos is complete. So on Monday, I did a hour long, almost an hour long um, live sew out of earrings. So, actually, I'm not sure how long that was. It was a decent long. This was an hour. I do know that. The American flag hair slide was an hour. So, <clears throat> that is to kind of compensate for that. So, today's letter is C. I had to think about it, which because I'm filming all these on the same day, on Memorial Day. Um, so... The letter is C because th today this is going up Wednesday. So I have one more video tomorrow and I'm trying to decide on what I do with that one. So right now and then that is it. That is the final video with the letter and then the live is Friday and we're going to announce the five winners. Now the video tomorrow, Thursday, there's going to be instructions at the very end of what to do. So, be sure you have all of your all of your um, letters written down because I do. And the first five people to send me the correct combination win something. I wonder what it is. But until then, you guys have a wonderful time or wonderful day. And I will see you again tomorrow with the next project or topic or something. Until then, you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.